Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Alright, so welcome back to Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations everybody. Today we are on the Stolen Turnabout Part 4-2 trial. I believe this is the last trial period okay. in the case. Okay. And previously, because Marty forgot, and maybe some of you guys forgot as well, um, we, we barged into the other courtroom. There's the other judge presiding. Oh, yeah. And, like, and, and we were, were dragging like, Luke at me. He's like, <laughs> not the judge. And started like, oh, yeah. And the dude was Canadian. That's right. The judge yeah, was Canadian. Not. The judge was Canadian. Yeah, not, not, Luke, not Luke at me. He's like secretly Canadian. Zvadi, eh? Zvadi. <laughs> That's not Canadian. October 14th, 12, 14 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby number four. What the heck? We need some lunch in here. My sis? I could have sworn I heard Mia's voice. So then, she's still alive. Inside your heart. Nikki boy! Oh, Miss Delight. Is it true that the detective is the real killer? To be honest, we don't have any definitive proof. But he's the only one who could have done it. But wasn't he at the Lordly Taylor that night? Not to mention, we don't exactly know his motive. I mean, why would Detective Abney want to kill Kane Bullard? Yeah, why would he kill Reggie? It's not heck? right. Oops, it's almost time. Uh, better get back to the courtroom. I need to find some solid proof. And it's gotta happen sooner rather than later. Ha ha ha. October 14th, 12.21pm, District Court. Courtroom number six. B -b 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 Coffee. Now then, this court is back in session. Mr. Luke at me, please take the stand. Hi. Well, he looks fine now. Well, well. How do you do, Sir Lawyer? I never would have thought to see you acting so recklessly. I couldn't let them hand down your verdict just yet. Not when it would have given you your perfect alibi. An alibi by the name of Mask to Mask. I'm sorry, I'm afraid even the great Luke at me has no idea what you mean. Of course, I have been in the next courtroom ever since 10 o'clock this morning. I'm afraid there's no way I could know what's been going on in here. You've been in the defendant's seat all day long, correct? Being tried as mask to mask? Indeed. It's truly child's play to fool the ignorant masses. Not only did the poor fools ask me to protect their valuables, they even gave me a generous reward upon returning their own property to them. Take this red diamond ring that sparkles upon my divine finger, for example. So you continue to insist that you are, in fact, Mask to Mask? Of course. Cool. Very well then, look well, at me. Let us begin with this simple question. On October 12th at 1am, Kane Bullard was murdered. Where were you at that time? One without knowledge lacks even the knowledge that he should be ashamed of himself. But don't worry, I will not hold it against you, Sir Judge. Um... Thanks. <laughs> oh boy. All right, Mr. Atme. The night of the murder. Speak. We're listening. Oh, I thought his snazzy music was going to go on. <laughs> As you wish, Sir Park Prosecutor. His snazzy music doesn't come on every time he speaks. He should. He should. <laughs> the alibi. Is, are think... you like, that's the best theme in the game? I mean, it, it works pretty well. I feel like the only thing that would, is better is like Moe's theme whenever. It's just like, like, it would be like super serious and all of a sudden it's just what about like. Mor what about Morgan's theme? Bam. Blam, blam, blam. Do, do, do. Wait, As she's drinking paint. Oh, her. Yeah, I like her <laughs> theme too. I was like, Morgan. For some reason, I immediately thought of Morgan from Fire Emblem uh, oh. Awakening. Male or female? Male, because oh, I'm man. female. All these cool people are going live on Twitch. We gotta finish up. I'm sorry. <laughs> the alibi. No, it's cool. I was stealing the Ernest Mask to Mask just as I announced I would. I had more than enough time to prepare. It was a pathetically easy job. <laughs> a photograph contains no words, but in this case one turned out to be my witness. But at the time at which the camera captured Mask to Mask was the same time as the murder. Mm, but that doesn't prove that your gigantic nose is in that mask. It's a plot hole. They never address it. <sighs> I think it's dumb. Hmm, it seems the main point of discussion will be this photo of the crime scene. Cool. Everything else up until now was all part of his plan. There has to be a secret to this picture as well. Even the great Mask to Mask cannot be in two places at once. 
Now then, if you'll excuse me, I have a verdict to receive. What? You just Unfortunately, Mr. Atme, we still have to do your cross-examination. A fool is too foolish to know that he is a fool. What is um, this? Like, um, <laughs> Francis, that's Francisca. Francisca's line. Foolish fools who something something fools. <laughs> I think he's trying to say that you're full of it, Nick. The only thing that's full of it is his alibi. I like how Maya's just able to be at the defense, <laughs> like, table okay, with us. Can we just take a moment to... Nobody ever poses like this. Yeah. Okay, his, his left arm is like, oof, and his right arm is like, oof. Nobody does well, that. No, he's got his hand on his hip. Yeah, I know. It's hand a... on his hip, and he's like, <sighs> "No, that could be like a weird power stance." I mean, not to no. Hold it it's terrible. <laughs> I am. Yeah. I was stealing the Ernest mask to mask. Well, hold it. Heard about that. So this photograph is the proof, correct? Indeed, it is. And the man in the photo is certainly wearing a mask. He had to have <laughs> moved the statue, right? Someone that, did. Someone did. That is why I'm called Mask to Mask. Cool. But conveniently, that also means that there is no way to tell who this really is. W what do you mean? Objection. Objection. Ha! Huh. Are you saying that this is not, in fact, Luke at me? That it could be an accomplice dressed up as Mask to Mask to create an alibi? Ho ho! What an interesting idea. It could be. Are you saying that I, Lone Wolf Luke, had an accomplice? Name the accomplice, give it up. <laughs> give up! <laughs> give, give up! up. <laughs> um... I mean, we have absolutely no proof from what I can remember <laughs> that he has an accomplice. <laughs> that yeah. I can remember. We can come back later anyways. Oh. Fine. Also, I fixed it so I no longer have to hold the FN key. Oh, nice. That stuff. That way we don't randomly Let's like, just give cut it up. back to Adrian Anders. <laughs> if Luke Atme was at KB Security during the murder, then the mask to mask in this picture has got to be a fake. Then there really was an accomplice! But right now, I have no idea who it was. Mm, I don't have any idea right now either. Baseless objections are just what that guy wants. There's got to be another way, and I'm going to find it. Cool. Okay, that seems like plausible. <laughs> Blah, blah, blah. Give up. Blah, blah, blah. Give up. So you're saying my speech on how you should never give up. You got out of it that you should give up? <laughs> you said you the give words give up, up a lot. lot. <laughs> I believe Adrian Andrews hired you at one point. That's right. That was over 20 days ago, if I'm not mistaken. You sent you the calling track. card to Lord Lordy Taylor 10 days before the heist. That would mean you sent out the card after you began your security watch, right? Indeed. There was no reason why I couldn't do both jobs at once. It was the perfect opportunity to steal my latest target. I see. You truly are evil, aren't you? Yes, evil is what I am. Hey, Nick. Isn't there something odd about this? Hmm? Detective Atme was always proud of his ace detective skills, right? But if the urn was stolen from the Lordly Tailor while he was the only one watching it... He'd have no way to maintain his perfect ace attorney. Er, ace attorney. <laughs> He'd have no way to maintain his perfect ace detective persona. You know, that's true. It is kind of odd. <laughs> A photograph contains no words, and what look how big my eye is. <laughs> I will say, I kind of like the whole noble thief idea. Like, mm. okay, but here's the deal. There's these people who just give us, like, the worst crap to deal with, where it's like, No way! I wasn't in the bathroom when this happened! Oh yeah, yes you were! And, like, you have to keep, like, proving every stupid little thing. Versus this guy, he's like, yeah, alright. Because I we proved every treat. stupid thing no, in the last no, trial! But, like, for this, like, even when we mentioned an accomplice, he wasn't like, Of course not stupid! He was like, an accomplice! Interesting! Interesting I could, I could, Yeah, I could complicate. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. So by photograph, you mean this piece of evidence right here, is that correct? Indeed it is. That is it. The very thing that proves I committed the crime. The very thing that proves you committed the crime. When you think about it, it's really odd. You say that almost as if you had this picture taken on purpose. Objection. He was simply caught by the very camera that he had set up. We all have days like that. Um, not when you're planning out a thief. <laughs> Indeed, it turns out that there's no such thing as the perfect crime after all. Life is truly an ironic theme, a sad blue melody. Well, that would make sense, though, if he would set up the camera to take a picture of him. Of so, a basket basket. So he could be like, oh, it was not me. No way. 
It looks like I better gather more information for now. And if he's just really <laughs> tired, apparently. <laughs> if he's truly the killer, there's gotta be something phony in that photo. Phony photos? The time at which the camera captured Master Mask was the same time as the murder. I think that's right. I don't know. I don't have a brain. I was just doing free calculus. <laughs> and stuff. And I was just crying in the bathtub about not being able to Okay. Not, not actually crying, but, <laughs> but more like... You're just like steam, steaming. Yeah. For, for those of you who don't know, we're recording this the, the same day that I did uh, a Cuphead stream. Enough said. It's a very yeah, frustrating I, game. Oh my gosh. Literally mid-stream, I heard him, like, <laughs> I heard him just say, No! <laughs> And I don't know what you were doing if you were punching the wall. I was pounding wall. my head against my desk. Me. Okay, I could hear it from where I was. So that's pretty I really might funny. make a highlight out of that so great. everybody can see it. <laughs> About the camera that took this photograph. Oh, come now. It's all too clear what you're thinking. Huh? You think I altered the timestamp on the photograph, don't you? No, I don't think that at all. I think you set that up on purpose so it would look like it's the correct timing. I'm afraid that's impossible. The camera was set up by Lordly Taylor, and on top of that, it was Lordly Taylor's staff that printed that picture's data. Unfortunately for the defense, there's no way that picture could have been altered. Actually, fortunately. I for see. The defense. It looks like I'd better find something else that could be suspicious. So this alibi is false. It has to be, or he couldn't have killed Mr. Bullard at KB Security. But I'm not really spotting anything unusual. There are two possibilities. Either the mask to mask in the photo is a fake, or the photo itself is. So you are leaning towards, you say, he purposefully did it at a time so it would look like it was the right time? Did it, hold up, did it have AM slash PM, or was it military uh, time? It tells you the exact time. Exact time. So it wouldn't be like, it's one, but okay, it's actually yeah. like one. It's zero, zero, five, eight, so that's... 12.58 a.m. A.m., okay. So it's two minutes before 1 a.m. Okay. Which is exactly the time that... Which is exactly the time that it was... Yeah. You couldn't have gotten there in two minutes. Right. So... However, it doesn't say what day it was. It doesn't. But also, the urn went missing that night, so... Yes. I'm trying to figure out with the statue how everything happened. Because I know Adrian right. Andrews is like, oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed, so, so, I spilled so, this thing! Yeah, so here's how it works. So, Adrian got, got the urn, spilled the stuff on the wall, purple stuff was dried on the wall, she's like, oh shoot, that looks terrible, oh no. Day before the urn got stolen, the gold Amy, Ami face statue arrived. She's like, perfect! Puts it in front of the stain, then overnight, someone moved it. Okay. Probably him. For some reason. Right. And then he, like, took the sword, hit himself on the head, apparently. I, he could have just bent it and been like, yes, I was hit on the head. <laughs> just, like, bends it in half. <laughs> and then he tears it in half. Um... I don't know what statement. Probably the... I don't remember either. I think it's this one. Okay. That would make sense, because it's, like, such a proclamation. Um... Because there's no way he had an accomplice. Like, who would he have? Larry Butts? Please. No. That guy was the getting his The only thing I could think out. of would be, um... Literally Matt everybody. His wife. Not Matt Mee's wife. His, uh, Ron Delight's Ron wife Delight's at the wife. time was at the police station okay, getting questioned. Mom. So, she couldn't have done is it. Is that in record? Like, is it in yes. record? Yes. Okay. Godot's like, I have the report right here. Okay, fine. That's fine. Then, okay. She wouldn't be doing that. He doesn't have a teleportation device because this isn't Leighton. <laughs> Um, <laughs> if it's late and it's like, obviously he like had this device that could exceed the speed of light so he could get there yeah. in a blink of an eye. Oh, oh, but of course time travel is not real, Luke <laughs> <laughs> Um. <laughs> obviously this entire place that we think is the future is just an underground city that magically has its own atmosphere. It's like, nobody is fought that? this for- That was one of them. What?! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Luke, my boy, clearly this whole town is just an illusion that are created by our minds because we're breathing hallucinogenic gas. It's like... <laughs> Wait, and, what are you Were they knocked smoking? out somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... I need to think about this. It's probably the photo. Like, something on the photo is wrong. Wanna try it? Yeah. Okay. 
Well, nope. That's actually what I thought it was, so oh, that's okay. kind of bad. The witness's statement is clearly faulty, Your Honor. Maybe it's on I'm the- I'm sorry, but I see nothing faulty. Maybe it's on the wrong statement. Actually? Oh, yeah, see? He's whole, that whole thing. Yeah. With the proven accomplice. Dummy. Yeah, we should try it. Well, what do you mean? <laughs> Objection! It sounds like it like someone- We've already said this before. No, it sounds like somebody, like, Godot punched someone was like, No! Like, Objection! Objection. <laughs> okay, let's Name just try it. If Luke Atney was at KB security during the murder- Maybe we'll get, like, text that's added. Then the mask to mask in this picture has to be a fake. Exactly! You had an accomplice. Now remember you said that, Mr. Trite, because there's no going back. If you're making baseless claims, I'll treat you to a penalty myself. That penalty is probably boiling hot, too. So who is it, Mr. Trite? Who was the accomplice? Yeah. <laughs> you like the <laughs> face statue! And that would be hilarious. Oh, oh, oh. Me a fan! <laughs> that would be terrible. <laughs> Let me just try mask to mask. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was this person. Ha! That's quite the prank you're trying to pull. Do you have any evidence that this person is, in fact, the accomplice? Well... The... The aura! The aura that this person has around them is... If you're going to judge someone by their aura... You better write- you'd be right up there as the number one suspect, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Jumped the gun on that one. <laughs> oh, he didn't throw his coffee at us. He made it sound like he was throwing his coffee at us. Uh, maybe it's... something with this? Hmm. I don't know anything. I don't remember how, what to do here either, so... Okay, you're... well, we'll just, like, start trying stuff. Okay. Just like, I don't know. I wonder, if you have like, the cameras going off in the place, can you like, turn, quite literally like, turn back the cameras, turn back time or whatever, so it looks like the thing? <laughs> I must have traveled for time! <laughs> so, well, yeah, yeah. Basically! Like, could you do Is that it... with the camera and be like, shh, shh, shh. It's one o'clock! No! <laughs> okay, I didn't... It's not the camera data. This um, is stupid because I've been done this case before. Like, just once. Just try the, the statue, I guess. Objection. Nope. Maybe, maybe it's the wrong statement, yeah. I think it might be the wrong statement. Try that one. Try that one. Do that one and be like, the photo. Huzzah, the photo. Objection. Nope. Nope. Objection! Objection! Phoenix, it's as if you're traveling through time! <laughs> <laughs> There's no such thing as time travel, Luke, my boy. I uh, Maybe it was the more time maybe. Than oh, hang on. to prepare. Sometimes you have to press statements after pressing other statements to get more info. By photograph, you mean this piece of evidence here, right? Indeed it is. That is it. The very thing that proves I committed the crime. Uh-huh. This sounds familiar. Surely you, you, even you understand by now. Lordy, Lordy Taylor provided that camera. There's no way I could have tampered with it. That means I could not have killed Kane Bullard unless I had an accomplice. Hmm. Come on, think long and hard about that night. The basement warehouse and this picture that supposedly captures it. It's gotta be here. Isn't there something funny about this picture? Sure enough, yeah. You bet you there bet is. You bet there is! Are you implying that this picture is a fake? You bet I am. There's definitely something strange about this picture. We took a long look around the basement warehouse that night before the theft took place. And there's something in this photo that doesn't match my memory of that night. Okay. Very well. Then let's hear what you have to say. What about this photograph do you find funny? Is it weird that there's no stains on the box? Is that it? I mean, he could have been holding the stain side into it. True. So. Is it because there's like a weird grate thing and that's not what it's supposed to look like? That? No. On the other side with all the paint. Is it because there's no statue there? That's certainly possible. Just, just like, yeah. <laughs> His face? He doesn't have a nose! <laughs> Perhaps this is the area in question. This area? Could you be any more vague? Ha! 
Ha! Today's Java has a little extra kick to it. It seems that the funny part lies in the area of the defense. Yeah, that wasn't that funny. Ouch! Better think that through or I'm gonna fall victim to another drubbing. Uh, you just try that, I guess. The funny part is right here. Why this? Here's a blood stain! Ah, blood! Now this case is getting interesting! <laughs> um, not exactly. The stain is actually pink paint. Oh, just paint. And peach colored at that. From blood to peaches, the judge sure loves going on his wild tangents. Okay. The problem with this photograph is not the paint. The problem is, when you consider the layout of the basement warehouse, it turns out that something that should be there is nowhere to be seen. Oh, poor Atme. Well, Mr. Wright? What is supposed to be in the picture okay, instead so of the yeah. pink stains? Yeah. It's the obvious, then. My attorney's No, oh, Mia Fey should be there! <laughs> So what is the evidence this time, Mr. Wright? Um, well, my attorney's badge. Uh, I thought I'd just kind of throw it out and see. I'll have you know that I'm not a trash can. <laughs> and I was so close to... I kind of like the way that <laughs> Phoenix laughs, like, <laughs> Nobody will notice the mistake I made! <laughs> <laughs> Seems you've just been wasting our time. That's nothing unusual for this guy. Wow, you haven't even done a case Very well. <laughs> Provide your testimony. Tense music. The supervisor of the treasure exhibit stated the following. Well, there's a good reason for that. On the day of the crime around noon, that golden statue just happened to arrive from the mountain training hall. I realized that the statue would be the perfect size for covering up the paint stains. That's why I put it where you first saw it. I myself was there the night the theft took place, and saw the statue in that spot. If this picture was truly taken on that night, then that statue should have been there. Simple, I just moved it! But when I went there the day after the theft, that statue of the old bag was sitting in the corner. Hmm, perhaps it was somehow pushed there accidentally? Your Honor, this statue is slightly larger than yourself, and quite heavy. It would take more than an accidental push to move it that distance. Ha. <laughs> In that case, can you prove it? Can you give us the rhyme and reason as to why the statue was moved that night? C can you do it, Nick? Never mind who moved it. The real question is why did they move it? Well, Mr. Wright, I hope you're prepared with your answer. Now then, who was the one that moved the golden statue on the night of the crime? Probably at me. But... Did me your face! <laughs> yeah, okay. What do you think, Mr. Goodell? A dead person. That's hilarious. Who is this lady? <laughs> <laughs> a man should be able to answer his own questions. That's what I think. Right now, I'm busy trying to come up with two answers of my own. How good is this coffee? Why is coffee black? And why is it bitter? Oh. Well, coffee. <sighs> Mr. Wright, to put it simply, you've messed up. What are you doing, Nick? You need to think about why the statue was moved. The good thing about when everyone chews me out is that it gives me time to think! <laughs> and it didn't get penalized! <laughs> I did not want to do that. What do you mean? <laughs> I got the buttons um, mixed up. Is it at me then? Who else? He was like the only one there. Sure. Otherwise I'm like, is it what's her face, Adrian? Why would she have moved it back? She moved it in the first place to cover remember, up the paint. I couldn't remember if like she was like, wait, I need to move this thing before I no. go out to eat with you guys. The one who moved the statue was none other than Luke at me. Come now, sir lawyer. There you go again on one of your strange delusions. Mr. Wright, what basis do you have for your strange delusions? It's very simple. The witness was the only one in the basement warehouse that night. That is indeed very simple. However, why would I want to move a heavy golden statue? The reason for moving the golden statue. Here's where our battle really begins. I don't know. Well, Mr. Wright, what reason did the witness have to move that statue? The reason can be found here in this photograph. Really? Look at me. You pretended to be masked to mask to create an alibi by showing you were at Lord B. Taylor that night. But this photograph contains a single fatal flaw. If the statue had been there, your lie would be exposed like cheap film at a drugstore. That's why you moved the statue. 
A single fatal flaw? Interesting theory. Oh, please enlighten of the us. Sword. Just where is this picture? Does the lie exist? Because of the sword? Oh no! Remember when he was like, "Oh, the sword!" And somebody hit me in the face, and, bleh, and like. What about it? Well, because the sword was removed, and it was some, it was like over to the left. It was over by the computer area. Yeah. So you're saying the sword would not have been in the photo, or it would have been in the photo? It would have been in the photo, which if he, that had been the case, we would have discovered it, like, immediately. We would have discovered the lie immediately. Otherwise, uh, okay. that looks like but here's the thing. Paint. We're trying to prove that he was actually at KB Security. Uh... So, if that's the case, if he was at KB Security, which is what we believe, how could this photo still exist? Because it's old? Did he, like, go in the night before and then have that? So, if he did that, what cause would he have to move the golden statue? To expose the paint? I don't know. Maybe I'm not you're, very, you're very close, actually. If you expose the paint, then it looks like, um... Then you can so, see how okay, the so fits. so going going off of going off of your theory. Yeah. He took the picture before the night of the crime. Sure. So you're saying this would be the picture. This is if the picture of the him case, beforehand. He wouldn't have moved the statue. The statue would have been there and it would have been fine because Adrian moved it after that. Didn't so, she? So basically, if he took this ahead of time, mm -hmm. this is what the photo would look like. If he took it on the night of the crime, her, then the statue would be there. Right. Okay. Which and means, that's what... which means, if he had taken it ahead of time, and then the statue was there, they would have seen the photo, being like, "What the heck? Why is the statue not there? The statue's yeah. literally covering yeah. it." Yeah. Okay. So, so it's that simple. So it's that simple. The kind of the weird thing though is what you have to present. Oh. Hey, really? The lie is mask to mask. Are you saying that this mask to mask is a fake? Ha! You know, I really wish you could start acting more responsibly. Huh? The current question is why was the golden statue moved? So what possible connection could there be with a mask to mask's identity? Oh buggers. Your face has oh buggers written all over it. <laughs> that's a penalty for you. That was a big penalty. Yeah. I'll ask you again, Mr. Trite. Where in the picture does the like is? I didn't know about that special dialogue, actually. Uh, we're gonna keep that penalty that we have? The why in this photo is somewhere around here. Just wait. Jumping to conclusions again. I think you need to take a gander in the local mirror. As the Yiddish proverb goes, a half-truth is a whole lie. I mean, yeah. Keep lying like this and you'll be the one on trial. Wow! Oh, man! Now they're calling me a liar! <laughs> That's half our penalty! <laughs> wow! The question is, why was the statue moved, right? There was some reason the culprit didn't want the statue in the picture. Because it wasn't there? At least that's what I thought. I'll ask you again, Trey. Was it not there and that's why? It wasn't there when he took the photo and it was on the night. He had to move it, otherwise okay. so, they would see the photo. But then where what? would we press? Where would we present? Really? Naturally, the lies in this photo is in the timestamp. What do you mean? I'll tell you exactly what I mean. On the night in question, Luke at me went to KB Security and murdered Kane Bullard. Therefore, it's obvious. It would have been impossible for him to have been at Lord to be Taylor at this time. Oh, so he has his hand in his pocket and then he's like, ha! Yeah, it's a weird pose. But what does this have to do with the statue being moved? Remember, if you will, Your Honor, when was the statue placed besides the warehouse door? Well... The statue was taken down to the warehouse on the day of the crime. And it was placed there in order to cover up the paint. Exactly. So Look, at, Look at me had already decided on the time when he was going to kill the victim. And so in order to create an alibi for that time, he took this picture days before the murder took place. What the? Of course, the statue hadn't yet been brought down to the basement warehouse yet. Ah. Oh. So on the day of the crime, Mr. Atme must have been quite nervous. As nervous as a long-tailed cat in the rocking chair factory, so to speak. Why? Because something that wasn't supposed to be there had been brought down and placed where it wasn't supposed to be. 
And that is why Look At Me had to move the statue on the night of the murder. He did it to make the room match the way it had been in his photo. Okay. I mean, I guess. Order! Order! Mr. At Me, is this true? One moment, Your Honor. H have you forgotten this? W what's that? The data for the basement warehouse computer. According to this, the camera did indeed go off on the night of the crime. Yeah, because you went to move it after the crime. Hmm. It's true that the camera had been set up by the Lord of E. Taylor's staff. However, the program used to manage that data was yours. That alone could have allowed you to tamper with the data. Ah! Ah! Like, oh my gosh. Do, 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 do. I don't really like this objection theme. It's kind of weak. Order! Yeah. Order! Mr. Godot, what is the meaning of this? Coffee. Come on, I need your snazzy theme. Break my spirit. Godot, I warned you about making me wait. Now put that coffee down. Thank you. My 11th cup. Thank you! I <laughs> promise to drink no more than 17 during a trial. <laughs> Which means I'm still good to the last drop. However, the defense has a very good point. A good point. So what? We are all but travelers on a road of infinite points. Um, I think you've got your points mixed up with the other points. So you say this photograph was taken ahead of time, and that the statue was moved in order to make it match? That's a very interesting idea. However, there's one point you ca that can't be denied. Mm -hmm. Which is... Shakes his head and gets more That it's only... A possibility. Um... Men that are trapped by the chains of maybe... ...can never reach their dreams. That's very true! No way! Don't fall for that, Your Honor! <laughs> hey, Mr. Damask. Y yes If there's no funny business in your actions as Mask Damask, there should be no problem with you telling us your strategy. So let's hear it. Yes, please provide this court with your testimony. About your plan to steal the sacred urn. I don't even... whatever. <laughs> the sacred urn heist. I first received the request from Lordy Taylor about 20 days ago. Yeah. The urn was placed in a box in Zvari. It was then sent to the warehouse. Cool. Hence, I was actually unable to see the urn for myself until the day of the crime. I knew it was an extremely valuable treasure, uh -huh. so I sent my card 10 days it's beforehand. It's not valuable at all. I then handled security by myself to ensure that my crime would go smoothly. Why would they trust him with the entire security of that Because they're like, oh man, this guy's great. He's been on Masked Mask Tale since the first case, and he got the painting back last time. <laughs> okay, I would not trust, like, if you really have that, like, big of a security thing, don't put one dude alone. Put, like, <laughs> five dudes down there. Or, like, the police for- Or the police. <laughs> Pull a Batman, uh, Dark Knight Rises. Like, I haven't seen I want, that. I have a diver, but I know it's like, I want every police officer in the city down in the sewers. It's like, ah, uh, every single one? <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay. At last, I held the urn in my hands for the first time on 1 a.m. on October the 12th. Was, uh, Dark Knight Rises the one with- Bane! 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 That's <laughs> my name! That's pretty much all the stuff we've heard from before, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> okay. But we'll find the truth hidden in the nuggets of new information he gave. Witness, you're sure there are no mistakes this time? Zvari. That doesn't mean anything! Very well then, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. If he's lying, he's like, I didn't say yes, I said Zvari. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's very true. Well, folks, I think that's where we're gonna have to end the episode for today. It's around a half hour in length. That's fine. Good length. And... Well, we could do another after this if we, we want. We could. I think we have probably two episodes left for this case. For this case? Oh. Probably. Shorter than I suspected. <laughs> I think I'm more, I think I'm still used to that, like, terrible trial where it was, like, three trial periods. That was three, three of the trials. cases from game one. I told you, only the first game has free case, or free day cases. It's great. Anyhow, thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. We're cross-examining Luke at me some more, and Zvari. It will be fun. Anyhow, look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.